Hey, you down here? Okay. Doing a... Trying to work on the uh, washer. Trying to see if the motor's... Uh, <coughs> capacitor might be going bad. Uh, it's not... Uh, to get my nut drivers, but there's only one here, it looks like, so I'm going to use the baby buster. Oh, I think there's a Phillips set in there. No, there's not. I got a quarter inch nut driver, but this is a lot bigger. I should probably just go get my sockets, but we'll see. All I need is just one. It's quicker just to do this. Oh yeah, I forgot my. I've been wearing these little blue gloves because it's so cold. It's cold. <coughs> and it's better than. I'll go get them. Natural. I, they're, uh, usually I don't like to wear them because they make my hands sweat, but it's cold, so it's 30, I don't know what it is now. It was 41 during the afternoon, but I think it's getting, it's late enough now, it's, it's supposed to be 36 tonight or something, so it's probably in the 30s now. Anyway, get that off. I want to find the capacitor on this motor. I hope it's got one. It said it had one in the wiring diagram. This this machine is, I don't know if it's from the 70s or 80s. It's a Maytag. It's been a great machine. We had to f replace a few parts. And we got it second hand. It was my grandmother's and now it's my mom's. And we've had it for 25 years. And we've replaced a few parts here and here. There hoses and the water pump's still good. Motor hasn't gone out so far. And what I'm not sure about is if there's a capacitor in there at all. Maybe it's... It said in the... I've watched a bunch of videos and everything. It said that it could be on the motor, you know, packaged kind of on, next to the motor, or it could be... Um, you know, like off to the side, but it could be in the back, I'm thinking to myself right now. The wires go on back towards the back. Uh, it's not the impression I got from all the videos I watched. Of course, they weren't the, this exact model, but uh, grab up my camera and see if it can help me. I need a light, I'm afraid. I've got a light, but it's okay. So here's the motor and uh. It's got a, uh, uh, that's not a capacitor, that, of course, that's a, I forgot what he was called, but it, it's, you know, it's where all the wire wiring terminals come in. It's not a, what I'm looking for is a starting capacitor, and that is, I don't know what it is, I wouldn't think it had a external controller, but it's old, so maybe it does. Uh, Give me a flashlight. Yeah. They're over there on the sewing machine. So I can't see up in there. And my mom opened the door to put something out, put her shoes out on the dryer. So I was like, well, that's a good opportunity moment. But uh, yeah, my light that I have behind me over there, it's, it's up on a stand, so it won't do me a lot. It's really not going to be easy to, you know. Now there's some numbers. If this camera can see them, that can help me later. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe I can freeze that and look at them. 
but what I was wanting to do is look, trace the wires back up to where they go. With the camera, because I can't, it's hard for me to get down on the floor, period, to see anything. So, now I'm going to turn this camera on its end and hold it by the tripod leg and I'll see if I can see on the other side. I'm pretty sure the wires go straight to it. I mean, I can't see it now. Of course, I can't see the screen, but I may have to open the lid. I have. I'm not a expert electrical tester, and I can't remember things good anymore. So I've got you know videos showing exactly step by step. I always forget. I don't do it very often. How to test the capacitor. But, uh, anyway, I put it all in my box so I can get to it easily. And, uh, I got this tablet out here so I can do that. I might have to open this top lid, is the thing. I have screws in it. Yeah, it's got two right there. I may have to. But first I wanted to feel around in here. It's unplugged, by the way. Yeah, the wires go straight to it from back there. There is absolutely. I do know exactly what a capacitor looks and feels like, the kind that would be on here. It's just about like what would be on your uh, air conditioner compressor. I'm more familiar with that, but smaller. And the wiring diagram showed one in the circuit, so. <coughs> Looks like I'm going to have to get up here. I, didn't, I turned on the tablet, but I didn't try to bring up the page yet or anything. I thought I'm probably going to have to watch the video to, to refresh my steps. So I'm going to move the stuff and uh, I'm going to have to get all the way up there and get that off of there. There's uh, up on the inside. There's some more. I think they're the same size as the one there. One that I took off from down there over the motor, the cover over the motor. I'm going to take a socket on the ratchet to get to it. Yeah, those are the ones to get to. Not sure what size it is. We'll find out. Bigger than that, that was 5 sixteenths. Maybe it's 11 seconds. Yes, this is American. So this is an American washer. When things were made in America. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. now but I didn't figure I could turn it with my fingers it's still ratcheting it's a bit tight in there to be turning the screwdriver and this you know sheet metal's kind of sharp it'll cut you even through these little old ones Because everything's covered, that's the reason I'm wearing it. That means good dirt.
Put it over here if I can. Yes, I know. Bad video. Here's what I'm going to try to do now bad video, bad angle, bad everything. There we go. things they said in the video, take the lid shut so I won't do that. not where I need to go, but I'll show it. Okay. So down here, that's the water valve, the water mixing valve, and then wires, the part of the wiring harness goes there to, it plugs into it. And uh, then they go up here into the control center. Oh, Again, I think it don't have a capacitor. At all. Yeah, my cable's getting hung. I've got it plugged in, or the camera battery would run down in no time making a video. So, uh, oh, I was going to say, why is it so crooked? Because the cable's dangling. Okay. Alright, now. So I'm going to put this back down. I probably, well, I couldn't tell without looking. pressure it doesn't even have a I don't remember what it does anyway let's put it that way uh, oh oh I see what it is that's where it used to, it doesn't work anymore but you used to pour liquid soap in there and you got a little tray there and it would go down to that hose that, that gradually it hasn't worked in years. Okay, now this is gonna be okay. Now it's unplugged, but it's still all hooked up to the water and everything. I wonder if I should put those back. Keep it from I guess I I should because it's just gonna be all over the place. So uh well, let's leave it. Well, there's no telling. What else I might need to do? I'd really be aggravated if I had to take, you know, do it again. There's two screws. One here, one here. So, there's two screws right there, and I don't see why there would be two next to each other that were you know, holding that on. So, uh, I don't know. I can't tell which one might stay and which one might go, so I guess I'll get them both. They don't, they're not very long. 
I figure one of them holds. No, you couldn't get it open without that. I remember it said you fold down and there may be... Actually, I don't... This is older, I think, than the ones they were making videos of. So some of this didn't pertain. But, uh, so now there'll be a, mo a video of this one. And what? Oh, it's an A512. That's the model. Maytag A512. I found that on the wiring table. Which I think used to be on the back of the washer. It was paper. And I took it off years ago to protect it. And I, sc I scanned it, took pictures of it, did something. I have them in my computer. So, uh... And of course, I, I, I did that a long time ago when I was working on it at some point. And, uh, okay. Yeah, there's no level place to put anything, so. Instead of sticking my flashlight in my, po my tool pocket, I need to put my tools in my tool pocket. I have a couple of tools in my pocket, always. And if I put the flashlight in my back pocket, I'll sit on it. I'll wear it out quick, so I'll sit in all the way. There it goes. Cool out from under there in case I need it. Okay. I don't think it has a starting capacitor. It doesn't. I'm gonna have to look over that motor real good again. Go ahead and go around and look at the what we can see here. That's uh, that cord is really directing the camera for me. There's the back of the timer. That's the selector. Where is it? That's the selector switch on the left. To, uh, you know, water levels and all that. That is. That is a vacuum valve. And I don't know. I guess it's a sensor. That's probably the sensor that tells it when to stop filling. But that looks just like a vacuum valve out of, out of a sensor out of a car. Can't believe that. That's pretty wild. Give us a little more light on those there. Dang it. Table. It's hung. Oh, no wonder. Sorry. It's, I like, that's why I like to set my cameras up on tripods and leave them, but I can't do it in this case. Let's see if there's anything we can see on this. Yeah, there's labels on there. Yep. I don't, I'm sure you can't see them, but. Yeah. I was in the videos they were saying, you know, do this, do so and so label. Okay, now that may be the uh, door switch. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's the door. That's the switch that when the, there's a, a mechanical mechanism that goes up to the back of the door. There's your power cord coming in, which everything's fine with that. Everything tries to do what it's supposed to. <coughs> but the motor just hums, so I figured it might, hoped it might be the capa starting capacitor. But it may be that the motor's worn out. That's what, actually one of the videos that was a real good series of videos, I watched a bunch of them, was a guy that worked on washers. He said, he didn't say a thing about a starting capacitor. He said, uh, if it's, uh, he said, he showed you how to test the motor, which is what I was going to, I was gonna. Well, he showed you how to test the motor, <laughs> and he didn't say a word about a capacitor. So, and he didn't show one. So, I thought, why didn't he say that? And maybe that's because a lot of these, most of these, don't have one. Uh, it is a thing of whether or not they decided to put one on it. You know. Okay, I'm gonna put this one back. Pretty easy to. before we're done. I think I'm going to put this 
screws back in it because I can't, you know, you, when I try to move it, it just <laughs> comes apart from your hands if you don't have them. I don't know why they have them right close together like that. <laughs> two screws here and two screws there. That's how they do them. Get them all here. I was afraid I got one one at a time because I was afraid I'd drop them. Yeah, like that. And you see those lobes. I can't do screws with lugs on. Get them started and then tighten them down. Make sure they're all go. They showed a way. Weird. Usually those gloves stick to your hands and you can't get them off without, you know, they're wrong set up. Didn't do that. Okay. Uh, let me look down at the motor again. I wonder if I can get my light a little closer. Or give me a little more light or something. Yeah, there we go. Maybe that'll help me. Get the camera down there again. Too many cables. Wait a minute. Right into this thing. Okay, now that gives us more light. That right there. Now what he, the one guy said, the one real good one, like I said, he said he showed you how to actually cut the wiring up in the control. I'm not going to do that because I think that was to make sure that it's not the controls causing the problem. And he showed you how to direct wire the motor by making a little extension cord that could do that and which wires to hook to make it spin and which wires to hook to make it agitate. And then he said let it run for a long time and then, uh, you know, if it don't, uh, if it works, great. And if it don't, then replace the motor. And then I saw videos on how to replace the motor. You know, he just said take all these off. Make sure you don't, you know, get them back in the right place. Take pictures. That's why I'm getting a good view of that. In case I ever did take it out. I need a snapshot of it, really, but... I can't see, barely see the corner of my screen to see if I'm anywhere near the right place. But If I really take it apart, I'll probably even make some paper notes of it. But this thing doesn't have any... part of the windings, I thought, is that? Yeah, that's the whole, that is the windings. Let's make sure I'm not missing that capacitor. See, those wires go straight to this. I'd have to look it up and see what it actually is called, but I know it ain't a capacitor. I know just by looking at it, it ain't a, well, I mean, I've seen some um, in electronics that don't look like what you might, usually they're round cans, they're not all round cans. I saw some the other day, I love to watch electronics videos. I've tried for years to learn to work on them and even wanted to try to design my own little circuit boards to do certain things. And uh, I never got that far. But uh, anyway, that motor, I think I'll put these, yeah, I'll put these back so that I can turn it on without it going nuts or falling apart. I turn the motor on with it open up like this. I, I may have to open that up back there again <coughs> so I'll just leave it sitting where it's sitting get me uh, the driver and the ratchet the driver might be easier to start it with
sitting down, they're going to fall out of here, so I'm just like putting them, putting them up. Okay, uh, yeah, I have to uh, set it on the tripod down somewhere. I can't. just by looking at the edge of this get it flush with the side and try to find the first I guess I'll try to find the hole that this thing goes in I can't see it and I really can't get down if I get down I can't hardly get up so where's the hole oh it looks like it has a really big hole to give you a ch I guess it gives you more chance it doesn't have a hole it has a triangle it's, it's built up no there it is there. Now my fingers are caught up in my skirt. I mean my glove is wound up on it. I guess I ought to give up on the gloves. Use my thumb to find the hole. There. There. I couldn't turn the screw with the glove on. Just get it started. There. Now, get this one going a little bit. Make sure it can't come back out of there. See if it could be. I mean, it's. it's um, it could be a bearing, or the clutch, or the brake holding that thing, because it didn't. 
I can turn it with my hands. And until we loosen it up, uh, when we, once we loosen it up, it started right up again. Once we found it, I don't know what happened. But I couldn't turn it. I got help, and I didn't find out, you know, what happened, <coughs> what, what it was like. If you're not doing it yourself, you don't feel it, you know. So, uh, let's see. Let me get down under there somehow. So let's move here. Here now, and then just gonna have to turn it in a general area before we're going. So, all right, let's see if I can't see the screen, but let's see how to aim it. Okay, yeah. um, shove it back, I guess, so I have more room. Shove it back so I'll have more room and then I'm gonna try to probably plug it in and mess with it. Green, I used to we shoved it all the way up to the little shelf little shelf there but the drain is it's under drain hose and it's gotta be in a different place. It's in won't let you. Okay, uh I'm gonna get this uh light back some of it. So I can move my chair. bottom of this where the transmission is and uh, I guess that flashlight's all I can really use for that let's get this camera too this actually ends up as much trouble as it kind of is to get, mess with a camera it actually helps me a lot I can look at it later and uh, see what's going on see, see things better so the, uh, that's where the shaft goes through to the pulleys. The pulleys are underneath, I found out, and the belts and everything. But if those had gone bad, then uh, those, I want to see if there's any sign of real rusty. Ah, oh, here's the transmission right there. Right there. I see. I couldn't quite get the counterweight on there. Right there, that's a counterweight. And uh, there's a transmission. Okay. So, I'm going to down some. So you can see, I think you'll be able to see this part turn right here, the shaft. And there's been grease under it. Just, just a little grease driven for years. Uh, like it's all looks dry under there. I'm looking at it now under there. It looks dry under there. Sometimes there's water dripping. And sometimes, you know, something drips for a while before we fix it. But I don't think there's any water dripping right now. And we keep it warm enough in here. There's a heater in here to keep it from freezing. Although it doesn't seem like I'm starting to wonder if it's working. <laughs> so there's Uncle Chili in here. I haven't seen it come on once since I've been out here. <clears throat> and it can fool you because it's got these. It looks like a electric. It's electric and it looks like a log fire, you know. And that stays on all the time, whether it's running or not. So. That's on, and, and all the lights are on, but I haven't seen it come on, so maybe it only comes on when it gets, maybe it's, you know, colder than it is right now. But I'm going to leave that down there to see what happens when I plug it in. I mean, when I turn it by hand. I did plug it in, but I wanted to turn it by hand first.
if I can get it to spin. Let's get my camera again. Okay, so if I can get it to spin out of the loop, of course it won't. Actually, I don't care if I see the tub. I just want to see if I can get it to spin. I don't want it putting any water in there. There. Put water in there. There we go. It's the motor. Of course, I knew that sound was happening, but now that I know that it will turn, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. But let's see, what I was going to do is, ah, yeah, there's two belts on it. Well, they're loose. Oh, I could turn that real easy. That one, that one there. One goes, through, okay, this one goes through the water pump. And I, so this is, it was small, some with one belt and some with two. Motor turns very easy. I think the motor just may be, see that's what hammer clips on. I don't know if you can see that, but I knew I'd get in something really nasty and I didn't really want to. <laughs> so, uh, now I'm going to try, let's just leave it right there, I don't doubt you can see that, but whether or not the motor, you know, was turning or not, but back up a little more, that shaft, there, if that shaft would, uh, started but I can't I need something I actually need something to but when I have the door open I need something to switch and what I had yes the screwdriver didn't work very good but so not one of the few things that wants to go in there I can't think of anything I've got a little piece of wood I probably do something Messing with it to get your finger pinched down. I don't dare touch the touch the belts under there when I'm trying to do that. I don't think that turns it after all. That's just cover for it. That little that is a cover, like a dust cover. It turns and it would lift up. Uh, yeah, the videos made me think the transmission was down here, but it's up there. That is the, okay, that's the brake and the clutch in there. That's what all that is. Right there. Okay, now I'm getting it. Okay. But I'm pretty sure it's the motor. I need to take a still shot, try to do a macro shot of that motor thing. Uh, they're supposed to be, I think they were $175 by looking it up on a place where I bought parts before. I don't know if it's, you know, as old as it is, maybe we will just get a new washer. I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, new and some, you know, get, you buy, I'm afraid if you buy something new, it'll last two years and break. That's the only thing. 
So, uh, <clears throat> now I'm getting tired. I think I better put the lid back on it. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, I, I don't have any, uh, out of the way for now. And get my chair back. And get my I one more time to get a good shot of that. Same as I'm getting them a lot. There we go. straight on and the video is not as clear as a you know macro shot I don't know if I can hold still to do a macro shot that low but so maybe that can be read okay uh, it's time to put the lid back on it because I don't see anything my videos won't help me because well uh, I mean just bypassing the by passing that, uh, I'm going to put it up here this time. Get it to not fall off of there. The whole thing is coming off there. Okay. a lot straighter than that. Okay, so uh, I'll probably be in the way when I get down there, but that's I'm going to put the door back on. And uh, actually I'm going to re-plug my Is it still recording? Actually, I'm going to leave it because sometimes when you plug in the power, it uh, kills the recording. It'll run long enough, I think. Since it's been plugged in this whole time. on something if it goes to go there and it's got, got an extra screw these are 
to snap on things too. Got those in. Those two go on the bottom. That's what makes it pull up. Yeah, honestly, I completely forgot. I know one of the first things I took off. Where'd that go? Just one little. I had this cover off. I'm trying not to take these down from my props if I can keep clean. It's only one screw, huh? <laughs> uh. on top of here and we'll try to catch them really bad and just poke through my glove a little bit. I really don't like working on this thing because of all that. I don't like sharp shooting it. Uh, what is that? somewhere I didn't take any extra screws out of that up there doesn't go in there I know that I used to didn't have this kind of trouble with getting this thing not like, not like this. <laughs> uh. Two clips, two screws in there. Oh, the plastic cover for the motor. Keep the water off of it. I usually don't want to take that off. Everything looks okay with that. Oh, there's one hole that's been used and one that hasn't. Two, hole, two possibilities there for now in that screw. There. That's more like it.
got a hole push up on that one. And you can clip those later, I remember that. Now, you stick something in front of well, actually a putty knife will fit in there better than a screwdriver. And, uh, but you got a hole to get it up, and of course it has to be lined up. Left to right. Around a very severe angle. You should have to find that spot. Don't think I have it lined up. Too high. I have a short screwdriver, but fairly short. This one, the old snubby one works good. I'm going to get it almost all the way in so that it won't fall off on this side. Yeah. I'm to figure out if I turn the screwdriver like that and lift up on the blade, I can get it better. Hold on. 